नमो दस भगवत अर्हतो समुदस नमो दस भगवत अर्हत समुदस नमो दस भगवत अर्हत समुदस विपस्स च न मातो चाकुमाताश्रीमतो सिके सपी च न मातो साबभूतानुकांपिनो वेसभोस च न मातो न हाथ काश तपासिनो न मातु काकुसांडस मारसे न पमादिनो कौन गमनास न मातु ब्राह्मनास वुसी मातु काश पास च न मातु वेपमोतास साबदि आंगरसास नमातु सकियपुतास श्रीमतो यो इमं दम देशेसि सबदो तानो पनोदानं ये चापि निबुतालोके यता बुतां विपसिसो ते जाना आपे सुनात महान्ता वेद सारदां इतां देव मनोसानं यां नमस्सांति गोतमां विजाचरण सांपन्न महान्तां वेद सारदां एते चान्ये च सांबुद्धा अनेक सातकोतियो साबेबुद्धा समासमासा बेबुद्धा महिदिकां साबेदस बलोपेता वैसाराजे हुपागतां साबेते पति जानांति आसबांग तानमोदमां सिहनादं नादंते ते परिसासुविसारदां प्रामचाकं पवातेंति लोके आपतिवातियां उपेता बुद्ध दामे ही आता रसाही नायकां बातें सलाकनो पेता असीता नुभ्यांजनादरां ब्यामाप बायसो पबासा बेते मुनिकोंजरां बुद्धा साबानुनोएते साबे कीना सवाजीना महापाबा महातेजा महापान्या महाबालां महाकारुनिकादिरा साबे साना सुकावाहां दीपानाता पतिताच तानालेनाच पानीनां गति बांधो महेशासा सर्नाच हितेशिनों सदेवकास लोकास साबे ते परायनां ते साहस रसापादे Vandami purisotame Vachasamana sacheva Vandami te tatagate 
सयने आसने ताने गमने चापि साबदान सदा सोके न राकांतो बुद्धा सत्य करातुवां ते हितो राकितो सांतो मोतो साब भये हिच साबरोगा विनिमोतो साप सांता पावाजितो साप वैरमति कांतो निबोतो चतुवां बाव ते सांसाचेन सीलेन कांति मेता बालेन च ते पि आमे अनुराकांतु आरोग्येन सुकेन च पुरात पुराते मास्मिं दिसाबागे सांति बोधा महिदिकां ते पि आमेनु राकांतु आरोग्येन सुकेन च दाके नास्मिं दिसाबागे सांति देवा महिदिकां ते पि आमेनु रा कांतु आरोग्येन सुकेन च पाचिमास्मिं दिसाबागे सांति नागा महिदिका ते पि आमेनु रा कांतु आरोग्येन सुकेन च ओतरास्मिं दिसाबागे सांतिया कामहिदिकां ते पि आमेनु रा कांतु आरोग्येन सुकेन च पुराति मेन दातरातो दाकिने न वेरुल हाको पाचि मेन वेरुपे को कुवेरो उतरादिसां चातारोते महाराजा लोकपालायसासिनो ते पि आमेनुरा कांतु आरोग्येन सुकेन च आकाशाताच बुमाता देवानागामहिदिका ते पि आमेनुरा कांतु आरोग्येन सुकेन च इदिमान्तो च ये देवा वसान्ताइद सासने ते पि आमेनुरा कांतु आरोग्येन सुकेन च साबितियो विवाजान्तु साप सोकोरोगो विनासतो माते पावतो अंतराय सुकीदिगायो को भव अभिवादनसीले सनिचांबो दापचायिनो चातारो धम्मावा दांति आयुवानो सुगं बालं Okay, <coughs> so this is where we stop uh, last week, isn't it? Okay, so okay, we continue uh, from this uh, slide. Okay, now Deepa Nata Patita Tana Lena Chapanina Gati Bandhu Mahesasa Saranacha Hite Sino. Okay, right, so, okay, so there are a few vocabularies here, and, okay.
Okay. <clears throat> yeah, look at the deeper, right? Deeper island. Nata is a protector. Okay. And Patita, <laughs> a support, a foundation. Yeah. So there are so many words uh, related to each other. It's like Tana, Lena, you see. And um, yeah, Panina is from the Pani of living beings. Okay. And Gati, okay, destiny, a life after death. Huh? So Bandhu, Mahesasa is from the Maha Isasa, Isasa. Okay, Maha Isasa. And Sarana is also refuge, right? Hitesino is from the ending, huh? stem ending I N, right? So this is the nominative ruler, right? Desiring another welfare. Okay, so now we look at translation here. Okay, Dipanata Patita Tana Lena Chapanina. Gati Bandu Maha. You see, Isasa Sarana Chitesi, you know. So I split all the Sandhi here already. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, this is a verse, it's not easy. Yeah. Especially, so you really have to split the Sandhi, if not, you, you don't know their relationship. Okay, so you look at, you see, since there is no verb here, so I will talk it like Deepa. Okay, Deepa. Deepa is a, you know, nominate ruler, and Nata is also nominate ruler. And Patita is also, uh, but it's in a feminine form, feminine, nominated plural. Ch means en. Uh. So it means that, uh, you know, uh, and then you look at it. Tana, Lena, Chapanina. Also, same thing, uh, masculine, nominated plural. And Panina here is a genitive. So, how what is the translation? Yeah, basically, <laughs> they are just words only. Yeah, they are just words. Okay, Gati, and then Bandu, Maha Isasa, Sarana, Chahitesi, you know. You see, so nothing special here. You see, just, they are just, uh, they are all the same, nominated ruler, right? So they are the island for beings, right? The Lord, the supporting ground, the protectors, the shelters, the heaven, the relative, the glorious, the saviors, the refuge. And they seek the welfare of all being. Okay. So this one probably is a bit tough for you, but you know, it's just um, many vocabulary here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we switch to another one. Sadeva kasa lokasa sabbe ete parayana. Te sahang serasa pade vandami purisutame. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Sadeva kasa. Uh, Sami together with. Okay. Together. So, this is an adjective, right? Genitive. Together with deva, sadeva. A locus of the word, right? So, parayana. Sabete parayana. Okay, the word parayana is the is the, the support. Uh, you look at the tesaha. Tesangha is a tesang ahang. Huh? Tesang ahang. So this is a compound. So you have to split it. Huh? Of them, I. You know, tesang is a genitive, and then ahang is I. Okay, it's a nominative singular. And Sirasa is from, from the stem, sirast, right? Sirast. So this is ending, uh, ending in AS, uh, siras. So you see, there are so many now ending. Uh, so as we have come across, you know, so many cases are now ending. Those with uh, ah, you see, feminine, masculine, and neuter gender. And then U and E, and also you have this us, you know, Siras us, you see. So anyway, it's a bit difficult for, for a beginner. Yeah. Anyway, I'm introducing <laughs> some of these uh, new things for you. And okay, here you have the verb here, Vandami. 
right? Ami, Ami, this is the first person singular, right? Is I, I salute, okay? I pay homage, that's a Wandami. Uh, Wandami Bante, you see? Uh, you see in the Sri Lanka, uh, in, in most of the Buddhist country, right? When they say they want to respect to the Sangha, they will say Wandami Bante. You see Wandami, I respect to Bantes, okay? Wandami Bante. And Purisuttame is compound from Purisuttame. Purisuttame. So it means the great man. Huh? It's also equal to Mahapurisa, right? So it's a great man. So it's an accusative ruler. All right, so now we look at the, 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 the you know, the, the analysis. Sadeva kas lokas sabbe ete parayana tesang ahang serasa pade vandami purisa uttame. Okay, so here the verb is this, huh? vandami. Now we, we analyze the first part, yeah? Okay, Parayana. Okay. Uh. So the Sabe is adjective to it, right? Ete also. Uh. So all these Buddhas, huh? the, all these are the refuge. Okay, refuge. Sabe, Ete, Parayana. So Parayana is a refuge, eh? refuges. And Sabe, Ete is also adjective to them. Mean, <clears throat> Sabe means all, right? Ete is also this, right? Uh, so you see, then you look at Sabe Kasa, Sadeva Kasa, Lokasa. This is a genitive. Okay, and also genitive. So one adjective to Lokasa. So you see, all these Buddhas are refuge, are the refuge, Parayana, for the world, okay, for the world of God and man, okay, for the God and man. So the Deva is God, right? Lokasa means you are referring to the man in the world, uh, generally, uh, referring to the people, man, okay? Or some Sometimes you find the suttas, you find the word like Sadeva Manusana. Is it Manusana? Manusala is Malay me, word. <laughs> Manusa. Yeah, this is also in Sanskrit, in, in Pali, Manus, 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 Manusa. Yeah, but another word is also Lokasa. Though the Lokasa means refer to the world, but you are referring to the people in the world, right? So we, this is how we translate for the world. So it's a genitive. But we translate in the dative sense, yeah? Refuged of the world of God and man. You see, so this is nothing. Okay. <coughs> okay, why? Oh yeah, another part. They sang aha sirasa pade vandami purisa ottame. Okay, so vandami. Here yeah, is a first person singular. Yeah, I, I pay homage. Yeah, so you find the subject here. Aham, uh, aham, the subject. So I pay homage, right? And then, Pade is accusative plural. Pade, <clears throat> Pade means the feet, okay? The feet. I, I worship the feet, okay? The feet. And Sirasa is it? Oh, no, here yeah, you see another one accusative plural, right? So you see they are all the same accusative plural, accusative plural. So it's adjective, <clears throat> okay? Uh, means that the feet of uh, the, the great, hmm? <clears throat> the supreme, huh? of the supreme one, of the great, great ones, great men. Okay, so and Sirasa is tremendous. Okay, with this is Tesang genitive. Okay, uh, so 
So this is how the trust. I respectfully, okay, worship the feet, okay, feet who are of supreme ones, okay. Then sirasa means with head, with my head. Understood now? With my head, sirasa with, okay. They summon to them or of them. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, so this is how the translation looks like. Yeah. So all these Buddhas are the refuge for the word of God and man. I respectfully vow the feet of this supreme ones with my head to them. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, another one. Vachasa manasa cheva. Vanda mete tataha gate. Sayane asane tane gamane chapi sabada. Okay, uh, the vachasa. <coughs> See, vachasa is also instrumental. Okay, from vachas, mean with the word, uh, with the word. Uh, manasa with the mind is also from the manas. Okay, and bandami is also a verb, first person singular one. <coughs> ete, yeah, this ete, uh, ete. Bandami ete, uh, yes, it is. Bandami ete. Uh. So, yeah. Okay, it is a demonstrative pronoun. This tataha gate accusative ruler. Okay, masculine. So you see, sayane, asane, tane. They are all in the locative absolute. Okay, sayane, lying down. Asane, sitting. Tane, standing. Sabadami, always. Gamane is also located or silent. Okay, so you have these four things. Ch api also <clears throat> at all time. Okay, now we look at the grammar. <clears throat> yeah, so this is how I split it already. Yeah. Vachasa manasa ch eva vandami ete tatahagate. Yeah, so split the Sunday is easier for you, you know, to analyze. Yeah, yeah split the Sunday. So I think. You, you probably you're still quite new, you know, to, to this Sunday. So, so when you read it, you have to read carefully. Huh? You have to analyze carefully. So you speak like that, then you can see all the grammar is very clear. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now. So we look at the verb, yeah? Vandami. I pay homage. I pay homage. So the I is understood, okay? Even though there's no ahang, all right? But understood. So I pay homage. Pay homage to whom? Uh, to ete tatahagate. Yeah, here is accusative ruler. Huh? Ete is the demonstrative pronoun. This, right? So it means that uh, to this tatahagate. Okay, to this tatahagate. So I pay homage to this tatahagate. Then, vachasa manasa ch is like a and a ch, b ch. Huh? So with Word and with thought. Okay. <clears throat> I pay homage to this just gone one by words and also and also uh, by thought. Sayane, asane, tane, gamane. These are all the locative absolute. Huh? So how to use our locative absolute? You can translate like, you know, when, when lying down, sitting, or standing, or walking, the kind of, uh, you know, English translation. Uh, but since you have the church, 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 church here, so you can say that whenever I am lying down, or sitting, or standing, or walking. Okay, so here these are all the locative absolute. Sayane is from the root C, mean to lie down, lying down. Huh? And asane, huh? asane means sitting huh? from the, 
from the sun. And then you have the tanis from the star standing. Okay. And gamma naming going or walking. Huh? Uh, so sabada. So whenever I'm lying down or sitting or standing or walking at all times. So this is a use, the usage of Locadia Absolute. Okay. Anyway, I think you are still new to what is Locadia Absolute, but it's okay. You know, just you just have in your mind, you know, the, the grammar called Locadia Absolute. Huh? So when the grammar is in the locality of absolute, you can translate like when, you know, that kind of meaning. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so. Yeah, not much we can talk about. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this is about the practice huh, of mindfulness huh, in these four postures. Next. Sada sukena rakhandu. Buddha Santi Karatuang Tehituang Rakito Santo Muto Sabbhaye Kich. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This is all the grammar, all the all the vocabularies are given. Uh, there are so many, yeah. <laughs> Down up here. So it's a, it's a bit too much for you, yeah? All the vocabulary here, but it's okay. These are the words, uh, you know, that occurred quite frequently in the Buddhist text. Huh? Like sada, sada here is the, is the egg word, huh? I mean always. Huh? Sukena is from sukha, yeah, happy. Then once it becomes an egg verb, so happily. Okay. And the rakantu, rakantu is imperative, that person plural, right? May they protect. That kind of meaning, huh? May they protect. Like Buddha, Santikara, right? Santi mean peace. Kara mean the Mecca, Santikara. Yeah, so this is a compound. I should, it's a compound. Tuang mean you, okay? Tuang, you. Tehi um. Tuang, okay? By them. Huh? Or oh, Rakito, Rakito. Okay, Rakito. Here is a past, uh, past participle. Uh, past participle. Uh, it also used as a noun as well as verb. Huh? You have noun and verb together. So it's been protected. Uh, Santo is also. Huh? So, but Santo here is, is the present participle. You see, so now we have come across uh, present participle, past participle, and the future participle. Okay, yeah. So, hey, you want to know more about these, uh, you know, three types of participles, then you have to go to the grammar class, huh? uh, get grammar class. <clears throat> and the grammar class will teach you how to form these. Uh, from this, uh, you know, all this participle. Mutto is also present participle. Huh? So it's from release. So now we look at the translation here. Sadat sukena rakhandu. So the verb is rakhandu, that person. <clears throat> huh? May they protect. Okay. May they. Who are they? <laughs> uh, may the Buddha. Huh? So the subject here is uh, Buddha. May the Buddhas, huh? may the Buddhas. Okay, Buddha. And then what else? Ah, you have the Santikara, it's also nominated plural, right? So Santikara means peacemaker. So who are the peacemakers? So may the Buddhas, right? Who are peacemakers, right? Got it? Huh. Then protect, Rakhando, protect. Protect whom? Protect Tuang, you. Okay, you protect you. Then Sada Sukena, instrumenta. Okay, happily protect you happily. Uh, yeah, protect you. Uh, happily. 
always. Huh? Sada always. Huh? So you can see the whole thing. Is this follow? Huh? Okay, sorry. Yeah. May the Buddhas who are peacemakers protect you happily. Okay? Protect you happily always. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay so yeah i know it's not easy to learn the of course i in fact i i have no intention to teach you you know this kind of grammar through the verses but uh but because this sutta is very important right to most of the buddhas right? these atanatiya suttas so <laughs> so i think i have these uh you know uh, duties to teach you you know to translate literally and I know you may find it very boring, but uh, <clears throat> one day, yes, let us uh, to tena, uh, is an instrumental we know, but how do we know when to use it as ever? Okay, yeah, you see, in the in 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 the now, right? There are altogether eight cases. Of these eight cases, there are four cases you can use as besides their own. Uh, you know, the grammar you can also use as an adverb if necessary. They are like accusative, right? Instrumental, ablative, and locative. Yeah, they can be used, they can be used uh, as an adverb. You think, uh, you know, you need to, to translate. Huh? When it is used as an adverb, whatever form you find, even in the locate, in, in, even in the accusative or instrumental, you just translate as an adverb, no problem. Okay. Or you will, if, if there is, if you don't translate with adverb, then how are you going to translate? You say, may the Buddhas who are peacemakers protect you, what? Protect you with happiness. Protect you with happy, always. Are you going to translate like that? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, you can protect you with happy, but this is how the grammar looks like, but it is better you can translate it, you know, using adverb. Then you can put happily, protect you. Okay, yeah. So this is how I look at, you know, the, the use of adverb. <clears throat> okay, now. Tehitwa rakito santo. Okay, you have all the participle. Okay, santo rakito moto. Huh? Yeah. Though they are participle, but they are also serving as noun. So here is a nominal singular. Okay, so you see all these uh, participle, they have their root, right? Santo. Santo is from the root asked. Okay. So you, when you make it a present participle, you, you just make it like sun. Like similarly, like the Bhagavan. Okay, so I think I give you another example that we... Uh, there's, what is that? Oh, there is a word like uh, Arahat. Okay, I, I use an example here. I give these two examples. You see, uh, you can see a very similar, uh, this uh, possessive suffix. And present participle. Okay, these two. They are ending in a and t. Okay, or sometime a t. For example, <clears throat> under this possessive suffix, you have like baka. Yeah, baka. Baka is a noun. We add the vat. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> baka, baka. So when you so this is the stem form, right? The stem form in VAT form. So when you decline it, you become in the nominative singular, you become like baka va. So this is the nominative, right? Singular. Baka va. So the blessed one or the fortunate one. So this is, but you look at the present participle, the, the very good example is <clears throat> arahat. 
Arahan. <clears throat> or sometimes you find Arahan. Okay, these two forms. Yeah, Arahan. You see, they are also in the in the in this form, but they are in the present participle. Present participle. Okay, present participle. So how you want to translate it? Arahan, when you decline it in a nominative singular, it becomes Araham. Araham. So to translate this Araham, you can translate that deserving one. Right? Deserving one. You see, you have ing. Deserving. Oh, sorry. Can I see? Okay. Uh, deserving. One. Okay. So this this one is from the root R A R H A R H A R H like deserved. Uh, deserved. This is why the Chinese word is called Ying Gong. Huh? Ying Gong. It means that the one who deserved our offering. Uh, deserved offering. Uh, similarly, you look at the one uh, that's shown to you. Just now it's a santo. Okay, a santo. I, I'm giving you this is a common one, uh, the santo. Yeah, santo. <clears throat> hmm. So it's from the ras. Huh? From the ras. Ras means comes to be. Or existing, existing. Okay, so then, but this is somewhat irregular. Huh? So then, how to form this uh, present participle? Then it becomes a sun. <laughs> anyway, this is somewhat irregular. Huh? Some it's, it's an irregular form. But anyway, this is not a good example. <laughs> but you look at this Arham. Arham is a good example. Uh, so this is a deserving one. <laughs> Uh, like ATP, so Bakava, uh, you see? <clears throat> okay, let me see. ATP, so Bakava. Hmm? Hmm? Bakava, Araha. Sama, Sambuto. You see, you look at this three form. This Bakava is also in the masculine, nominative, singular. Arahang is also not masculine, nominative, singular. This one, Sama Sambuto, is also masculine, nominative, singular. You see, but yes, so these are three examples. Yeah? That you see, though they are all in the masculine form, but you look at the ending, it's somewhat different. Uh, for example, the bakava is from the stem form is a bakava or bakavan. Araham, this is from the araham, arahat. Uh, where is sama sambuddha is from the sama sambuddha. Yeah, sambuddha is all different. You see, but this is how you declined it. Yeah? But anyway, to understand this, um, uh, we, we need to open uh, a Pali grammar class huh, so that you can understand better. <clears throat> okay, so this Asanto is a nominative singular. Um, Rakito is the present participle. How to form the present participle is very easy. Just add the ta, ta, ta form, okay, or ita. This is the easiest way to form. Uh, so you find a lot of these, uh, those uh, having this ta, ta, or muto also muta. You see, they are all the past participle form. Huh? Okay, so, <coughs> so Rakito is protected, right? Santo mean oh sorry oh <clears throat> i think i'm oh that's too too fast <clears throat> uh, 
let me see yeah oh okay so this santo also has another form oh sorry <laughs> uh, you see uh this santo uh, is from the root also sam uh, means to calm down, uh, to calm down. Uh, so santo mean PPP of this mean calm or tranquil, calm. Yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, being protected by them, yeah, being uh, rakatu, being protected by them, tehi. Okay. So what else? Uh, you have this uh, muto ppp, right? Liberated. Sabba baha yehiche is instrumental or ablative. Okay, from all fears, right? from all dangers, right? So how are you going to put them in? Huh. May you be free, right? From all dangers. Eh? I, think, I think I'm missing something. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm missing something. Being protected by them, okay? Uh, being calm, being liberated, okay? Uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> so I will look at it uh, later on, okay? I will look at it later on. Because I'm missing this part. <laughs> missing this part. The, the, the translation is not complete yet here. Okay, so I come back afterwards. Huh? So, oh, sorry. Now we look at this. Sapar, oh, almost finished now. Sapar roga vinimutu, sapar santa bhavajito, sapar ver mati kanto ni butto chatuang bhava. Okay. Now, you see. Yeah, so this is a verse that used to be chant. Uh, chanted by monks, okay, for blessing. Yeah, Sapa Roga Vinimutu, Sapa Santa Pavajito, Sapa Ver Matikanto Nibuto Chatuang Bahava. Uh, so you had a few words like Sapa Roga, okay, Vinimutu, okay, it's also PPP, Sapa Santa. <coughs> Okay, and the santapa means the heat or the grief. Huh? There you have various uh, meaning here. And vajito is a PPP, right? avoided, abstain from, right? Uh, sabha vera. Vera means enmity, right? Uh, all enmity, sabha. Atikanto is a PPP, right? Pass beyond, overcome. Okay? Atikanto. Ati. Ati is a prefix. Kanto means gone. Huh? So gone beyond, gone beyond, past beyond, whereas overcome. And Nibuto, uh, yeah, appeased. Okay. And yeah, you had words like, uh, you know, Bahava, imperative, may you be, right? Imperative, second person, singular, Duang. So you see, these are all the verses for, for blessings. It's not much to, that you can learn here. But anyway, we have to complete it. Yeah. So next week we come something something else. <coughs> but then I think it's very important at least that when monk chant these sutras, you know what is the meaning. <laughs> okay. So here the 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 grammar of sabaroga vinimoto. So yeah, there is no yeah we have come across yeah the the verb here imperative second person singular bahava may you may you be. 
OK， 没有没有，嗯 ，OK， 呃、uh, ，So this、uh, the second person pronoun so normally singular do one、um.。Okay. And then similarly, we need moto also PPP, right? Nominated singular. Uh, so you are referring to the person. Uh, but here in this context, it's understood as may you be free. Uh, may you be free from all the roga, uh, from all the diseases. May you be free. This roga, sub roga is ablative. Uh, understood. <clears throat> oh. Okay. So. Sabha Santa Pavajito, also same thing. May you be free uh, from worry and anxiety. Uh. <clears throat> Sabha Ver Matikanto, may you overcome. Uh. Atikranto, may you overcome all. Enemies, yeah, may overcome all enemies. Vera, ni buto cha tuang bahaba. May you be peaceful, ni buto. Okay, so yeah, not much we can learn here. Yeah, and this grammar is not easy also for you, and because they are in the verse. Yeah, so okay. <clears throat> now next, this one is also. They sang such a na sile na kanti meta bale na che. They be amhe no rakando aroge na suke na che. Hey, you see again, you look at this aroge na suke na che. They are they are all in the instrumental, but use as an example. Okay, like aroge na, yeah. Arrogant. Ah, I mean, no, no illness. Huh? With no illness, then you can say healthily, healthy or healthily. So can up with happy. So you can say happily. Yeah. So yeah, these are some words. Such a na sile na by the, ah, by the. This is such a truthfulness. Sile na, yeah, by virtue. Okay. Then in other words, you see, anurakantu is a third person, imperative third person plural. Anura, anu, anu is a prefix. Gradually, rakantu means protect, huh? but it's still meaning may they protect. Okay, so we look at the translation. Tesang sachena silena, kanti meta balena. Okay, now. Look at this part. Yeah, so you see, this is the compound. Kanti, kanti mean the what do you call the passion. Ah, uh, meta mean the loving kindness. Valena mean the, by the power. Ah, uh, by the power. Okay, so you see, you have the ch. It means that uh, you have this and this. Huh? it means that by the power of the truthfulness. Okay. Yeah, this is the truthfulness such, and by the power of. The virtue, and by the power of the passion, okay, and loving kindness. Uh, of there is because of genitive, huh? but the power of their truthfulness, virtue, passion, and loving kindness. You see, so here is very straightforward. And te api amhe anurakantu arugena suke na cha. Okay, imperative the person plural. Okay, may they protect. Okay, may they protect. Who are they? Okay, who are they? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they is a they. Huh? They <laughs> may they. It means that may those Buddhas. Huh? May those Buddhas because earlier we have, uh, you know, come across many Buddhas, uh, seven Buddhas, uh, many many Buddhas. Right and innumerable Buddhas, innumerable Buddha. Imagine, this is definitely a influence of the Mahayana. Huh? So, yeah. So to me, you know, when I read this, uh, this is very similar to the. To be honest, it's very similar to the mantra. 
<laughs> when we are talking about the Mahaya mantra, you know, uh, you know, they recite the mantra. And this for me is quite similar. <laughs> you are extolling the virtues of the, the great Buddha. So not much you learn from it, you see. So, but you know, since we are using it for a lot of protection, a lot of blessings, so you know, you, it, it's good that you know something. Yeah. But definitely, you want to learn, you want to learn Pali, don't learn, don't learn this kind of Pali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this, this kind of uh, translation, you know, verses are uh, not suitable for beginner. Huh? Okay, now you see, may those Buddha here, those they yeah, protect Arugena. May they, may all Buddhas, may these Buddhas, may those Buddhas, huh? those is because of they, uh, those Buddhas protect us, Amhe. Or sometimes you also you can say, protect you. If it is protect you, then how? Say like if I'm, I'm doing blessing, I will protect uh, you know you, protect people in front of me. Then instead of Amhe, you can say te api tumhe. Yeah, tumhe. Tumhe. Yeah, tumhe. Oh, tumhe. If you protect yourself, if you recite this for yourself, then you say te api amhe. Huh? Anurakan tu. Yeah, without disease and to be happy, it's okay in the church. Okay, so once it is used an adverb, you can translate to be happy. That's okay. So, you know, adverb. <clears throat> okay, so may those Buddha protect us. Or if you take it to then you take it. May, all, may those Buddhas protect you. Huh? Okay. Now we look at this. Uh, now different, different direction now. Huh? Different direction. You are talking about the eastern direction. Purati masming di sabahage, santi bhuta mahidika. Tepi amhe nu rakantu, arogehe na suke na Yeah, similarly, amhe here. Yeah? yeah, if you want to recite for others, then you replace by tumhe. Purati masming. Yeah? This is the locative in, in the eastern direction. So this is the bhuta. Bhuta means the beings in the eastern direction. Okay, we know that you know these uh, the four great kingdoms. Uh, they control uh, four types of uh, you know the main one, uh, uh, the Amanus. They are non. They are not the non. They are not the human beings. You see, they are just uh, half humans and half god, right? For example, like the Yaksha, you know, Gandhava, uh, and <clears throat> Naga, okay, Naga, long, huh? Naga. Another one, you see, they could also be Ashura, you see, also, also be part of these, uh, you know, the Peta, you see, but as to this type of beings, uh, you know, uh, not many people know, you see, it's very ambiguous, you know, to this type of being. Not like Naga, Gandhap, the Yakshas, they are very definite. Okay, so there are various interpretations. So to the eastern south direction, there are these types of being. Okay, uh, so how uh, you are requesting for their protection, right? So here is the translation. Purati uh, masmi. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. The divine being in the eastern direction. Who are who are they? They are Gandhava. Uh, Gandhava. Yeah. Gandhava. Okay, Gandhava. Uh, do you know Gandhava, right? I hope you know what is Gandhava. Uh, you know, uh, Gandhava got female and male, right? Female usually we refer to Apsara. Uh, Faithian, you know, the dancing dancing god. <laughs> if, if you go to the some cave, uh, you saw some, uh, you know, the goddess, you know, the flying, uh, you know, in the sky, right? So that is what we call Apsara. So they are, they are also Gandhava, right? Gandhava. And of course, for the male, they are just like a musician, musician. So they are the musician, you see, they play the music. So they are very good at music, uh, play the guitars, you see. So, you know, <laughs> they, that's why they were in the haven, huh? the haven they enjoy. Huh? So you have these beings, they're very good in uh, musician and the flying dance, you see. So they are just like a kind of entertain entertainers, entertaining, you know, the goddess. <laughs> and they, they, uh, uh... Like those uh, uh, cave painting in Sigria, that kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's true. But again, you know, people have different versions. You see, some say that also could be the god, goddess. 
yeah, goddess. Yeah. But to me, when you talk about the goddess, are you are referring to the earthly god, earthly god? Uh, definitely not from the uh, Yama god or Tushita god or Nimana Rati god. Definitely not. When you are talking about the earthly god, you are referring to uh, the beings under these uh, four guardians. <clears throat> okay, Sita Tian Wang Tian. You know the deities belonging to the the god of uh, you know the four great kings. And then another one is the 33 gods. Yeah, <clears throat> because they are dwelling in the in uh, on the on the ground. That's why we call them the earthly god. Yeah, earthly god. So like this uh, Gandhava, you know, dwelling in the eastern direction, they are belonging to the earthly god. Uh, okay. That's why you know with this earthly god, you can paint them, you know them. They have uh, they have picture. Uh, of course you cannot see them, they are invisible, but uh, but anyway, if you look at the suttas, you know, the painting, things like that, you know, you find, uh, you know, this kind of goddess, you know, they have the physical form like that, like us. Huh? Okay, so to this, this group of beings, divine beings, okay, they also, they also have certain power. <laughs> we are talking about certain power. So we also are requesting them to protect us so that we are free from disease and to be happy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, Santi, Santi, that person single. There are, okay, there are what? There are Buddha beings, huh? Buddha being or divine being. Mahidika of the great power, huh? of great power. Though the, the name Gandhava is not mentioned here, but it's understood because earlier I have already said, you see. So, so in the eastern direction, huh? of great power in the eastern direction. Look at it. Okay. So you see the adjective. So there are divine beings, a co Gandhava. This I add one. Uh, but here, Buddha is a is a being, huh? Who have great power in the eastern direction. <clears throat> okay. Te api amhe anurakandu. Same thing. Arugena sukena chip. Yeah. May they protect. <clears throat> okay. They. Huh? May they protect. Protect whom? Also, may they also, huh? Api, may they also protect I'm here, us. Huh? Okay. And then free from desist, arrogant, uh, uh, <coughs> and then suke nature to be happy. May they also protect us, you know, so that we are free from all desist. And to be happy. So you see, added something here, you know, added something so to, to make it a sentence uh, more complete. Or uh, even if without that, also okay, I think. Yeah, may they also protect us, right? Uh, without desist and be happy. Okay. That's also okay. Okay, now we look at another <clears throat> direction. Dakin asked me. Okay, Dakinasmi. Eh, sorry. <laughs> now, Dakinasmi is the southern direction. Huh? And Santi, now same thing. Deva, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Earlier we saw the Bhuta, you see, but basically they are the same thing. They are Bhuta, they are Deva, they are Satta. You see, this way when you recite Sherry, Transfer of Mary, you have like, Etavata Cha Amhehi. Sabebu, Sabe Deva, Sabe Bhuta, Sabe Satta, Anumodandi. Yeah? So Sabe Bhuta, Sabe Satta, uh, Sabe Deva. You see? So you see, sometimes you, you, you use the word Bhuta, sometimes you use the word Deva. Yeah, so this is a good example. <laughs> and okay, now we look at the translation. Okay, now uh, what are beings in the southern direction? Right? This is not very sure, huh? Of course, the text given like the word like kumbanda, huh? Kumbandas. Okay, kumbandas. What is kumbandas? You see, they said probably it's like uh, you know, I don't know. Some say it's uh Ashura, huh? Some say it's Ashuras. And or some say is the you know, there is no exact answer, huh? But anyway, we know that there is a types of being called the Gombandas. Huh? They, they are in the eastern direction. They also have the power. 
So we also same thing, requesting them to protect us so that we are free from all disease and be happy. Okay. Yeah, so there are devas. Now there are devas. Okay. Uh, who are of great powers in the eastern in the southern direction. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hekumbandas uh, have great power in the southern direction. Yeah. May they protect us. Huh? Uh, so that we are free from all disease and be happy. You see, even, even Theravada Buddhism also, we have this, uh, you see, some say, you know, Theravada Buddhism, we never pray for the, what do you call, the protectors, the Dharma protectors. Huh? Yeah, it's true, we never, we never pray. But you look at these suttas, Atanatiya suttas, they, you know, we need pray for this, uh, you know, these so-called Dharma protectors to protect us, you know, free from all the disease and to be happy. You see? But usually these ones, uh, this kind of chanting is chanted by, by monks for special occasion only. Uh, okay, now we look at another part. Uh, that is Pachimasmi. Uh, Pachimasmi in the western direction. Okay, more or less the same thing also. Huh? Naga, here is talking about Naga. Santi Naga, Naga means the dragon huh? or snake. <laughs> but of course, uh, this is a special type of Naga. Huh? In Chinese, also we have Nagas. Nagas. Uh, so, you know, Nagas, Tian Long Pak Pu, you see, they are in the sky, flying in the skies. Yeah, Santi Naga, Bahidik. <laughs> I think the word uh, Naga can mean elephant as well. Huh? No la. No la. Then he said <laughs> Sala. Sala. Naga. Naga. Naga means a dragon as well as snake, a serpent. Okay. Huh? Yeah, same thing also. Huh? Uh, so more or less the same thing. Mm. Okay. Same thing. Huh? So <clears throat> okay. <coughs> yeah. Adding a remark, huh? as you said, you see, some people said, that, oh, Theravada, we never pray for this, uh, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, these Dharma protectors. Yeah, but yeah, of course, we don't emphasize that so much. But in the Sutta, we do have this kind of, uh, you know, the chanting, you know, praying for, you know, these Dharma protectors to protect us. Yeah, so this is a very good example. Bante, can you go back to the previous slide? Thank you. Okay, here? Ah, uh, yeah, this one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I will give you these slides uh, afterwards. Uh, I try to finish it today uh, for this, this part. And Okay. Uh, now, you look at another one. Uttarasmi Nisabhage. Here is the word Yakka. They are more less, more or less the same except the Uttarasmi. Uttarami, Melewa Uttarami, the northern. Uttara, yeah, in, the, in the northern direction. So this is the uh, locative. Huh? So there are beings, right? Beings are called the Yakshas, Yakka. <clears throat> okay? In the northern direction. Huh? Mahidika means they are of great power. I, I, I know in, my, in, in many of my past lectures, uh, you know, the talks, uh, I mentioned a lot on this yakka. And we have quite a clear picture of what this yakka means, you know, in the suttas. Huh? So we can give, a, you know, the, the clearer picture of what this yakka. But as to the naga, not much. Naga, uh, not much. Kumbandas, also not much. Yeah. Uh, Gandaba, also not much. Yeah. Uh, we saw Gandabas, you know, in some of the war painting, right? They are flying gods. <laughs> so beautiful, uh, flying gods. Uh, they are the musician. But Kumbanda is basically what, we don't know what is Kumbandas, right? And yeah, Naga we know, right? And yeah, but a lot on the Yakka. Yeah, so you find a lot of, uh, you know, these, uh, you know, the statues uh, of this Yaksha. Or the protecting, you know, the what they call their temple guardian, you know, the protect. Usually they have the, usually like in the Thailand, they have this naga together with the yaksha, yaksha fist, and they had you have the naga behind. So, 
Yeah, so these they are down protectors. So same thing, I also protect us so that we are free from disease. So realizing this, then you see in our Theravadas, you know, chanting, then we have to invite these uh, beings uh, from different directions come to listen to the Dharma because they, this being, they like to listen to the Dharma. Okay, so once they listen to the Dharma, you know, once they got inspired and rejoice, uh, they will come and support the Buddhism. And so I have, I have firm belief, right, in the temple, right, say, if we have any ceremonies, you see, or any chanting, you know, we, we like to invite, you know, these non-human, non-beings, non-human beings, you know, Abhanusa, to come and listen, so that they will become a very good Buddhist, Right? And, sub, and support the Buddha Sasanas. Okay? Yeah. I mean, this is a tradition uh, uh, in most of Buddhist country. Uh, that's why in some of the temples, they have, uh, you know, they have installed, you know, the four great kingdoms. Uh, in four great kingdoms, you find. But of course, it's very hard to say, you know, which one is more authentic. Uh? For Chinese, they would uh, make the Chinese face uh, four guardian <laughs> kingdom, that of Chinese face Burmese or Burmese face, right? Uh, something like that. Huh? I think we shouldn't argue on, on that, which one is, 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 is correct. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what else? Here you talk about Porati Main, Daki Main, Pachi Main, Utaram Disang. You see, all different direction. Okay. So now we, we translate here. Okay, so here talking about the four different kingdoms, okay, four different kings, uh, the, 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 the king, okay, so they have the name different, they have the name of Datarato, Vilohako, uh, Virupeko, and another way, Kuvero. So these are the four great kings in charge uh, or control, four different directions, uh, oh, in charge of four different directions, okay, so they are the four great kingdoms. Here I mentioned already the names of these four great kingdoms. Okay, so here, so you said that there is this data rato, right? In, uh, in the east, you take it as an instrument, egg verb. Or by the, by the east, huh? you want. So there is data rata by the east. Huh? By the east or in the east, uh, you take it as an egg verb, right? Instrument, they use as an egg verb. Daki ne ne So there is a name. The king, the name of the king called Viruhako in the south, oh, by the south. Okay? And then Pachimena Virupeko, Pachimena in the west, right, by the name uh, Virupeko. Okay. So there is uh, Virupeko in the west or by the west. And Kuvero Utarang Disang. Okay, Kuvero. Right. Uh, in the north direction, Otara. You see, Otara is also Malay words, Otara, north. Yeah, so these are the, the these four great, uh, these four kings huh? named Tatarata, Virohaka, Virupeka, and, and Kuvero, right? In charging of these four different beings, Yaka, Gandaba, Naga, and Kumbandas. Okay, now here, continue. Yeah. It says, Chatarote Maharaja Lokapala Yasasino Tepi Amhe Anurakantu Arugena Sukena. Here, talk about the four guardians of the devil. Here, summarize. Yeah? So, okay, yeah. So, Chataro. Chataro means four. Huh? Four uh, Maharaja, four great uh, kings. Okay, four great kings. Yeah, four great king. Okay, so these four uh, divine kings uh, are the guardians <clears throat> of the world. Okay, uh, these four great king, Maharaja, four great king. So the objective, and they are Loka Pala. <clears throat> Loka Pala, Pala mean the the guardians. Okay, Loka mean of the world, uh, the guardian of the world. Yasasino. <clears throat> They are having a large retinue. 
Okay, so also describing the Maharaja. Okay, Yasasino is also. So Yasasino is from the Yasasin. So this IN form. So IN form here is a possessive suffix. It means that one who possessed uh, the, the retinue. Huh? So it means that he has a large retinues following him. Or oh, the subordinate. Huh? Subordinate. So these four divine kings are the guardians of the world having large retinue. So this is the thing. Is this so once you know the grammar, it's easier. You just put them together and you can translate nicely. That's all. <coughs> okay. Huh. That's why it says that you know every Uposata is there. <coughs> you see, it says that these four divine kings, huh, together with his large retinue, it means that who are they? <laughs> they, they are the protectors, like you know, the Yakka, Gandapas, you know, Nagas and Kombandas, you see. They are beings, huh? a retinue right under these four kings. So yeah, same thing also. May they also protect us so that we are free from all disease and be happy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so what else? Oh, here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's a, basically it's a share of merit. You have the word Deva, Naga. They are of great power. Okay. Okay. So Akasatacha Bumata. Here talking about two types of beings <clears throat> okay uh okay yeah bumata akasata akasapa mean being dwelling in uh, in the sky and buma mean uh, dwelling on the ground yeah on the earth so you see they are they, so <clears throat> they also refer to the deva naga or much more huh? so usually you have the deva naga deva naga Okay, of course, including many others, huh? like uh, Yaka, Gandhava, they all belong under this Deva huh? and Naga. So they are dwelling, uh, you know, uh, residing, what do you call residing in the sky, Akasa, and uh, residing on the earth. Huh? So they are half human, half God. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there are mighty. Mighty is Mahidika, mighty. Huh? Or you can say there are deities and dragons who are of uh, great power residing in the skies and on the ground, on the earth. Okay. Yeah, same thing also. Tepi Amhe Anurakantu. May they also protect us so that we are free from all diseases and to be happy. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Sedimanto che ye deva vasanta id sasane te api amhe anurakan to arogene sukene che. Okay, here we look at this. Huh? You have the words uh, deva. Okay, deva of this idimanto of great power. Right? Vasanta is also nominated for ruler, describing the devas uh, who lived. Uh, who lived Okay, who live? Who are, here? Who are living? <laughs> who are living? Yeah, mean here. Okay, here mean you are referring to the to the present Buddha sasana, uh, to the dispensation of the Buddhas. So you are talking about the deities of great power. Uh, Idimanto is also adjective devas. Okay, so sasane locative. Ida mean here. So deities of great power. Uh, or you can say the deities who are of great power, who lived, okay, in the sasana here, okay, hear me in the present world, uh, in the present world. Uh, okay, same thing. Uh, uh, may they also protect us uh, so that we are free from disease and to be happy. Okay, same thing also. Uh, if you want to wish others, you can say may you. Huh? Then you have to replace by tum he, am he, tum he. Okay, now this one is also very common. Sabitiyo vivajantu sokorogo vinasatu mate bhavatvantarayo sukidigayo ko bhava. Okay, so these are very common. Huh? Usually, when monks uh, do blessing, uh, we have to recite this. <laughs> okay, okay. So now we look at it. What are these? Okay, 
So yeah, you have the imperative that present plural, like viva jantu, uh, viva jantu. <clears throat> so sabha itiyo mean all calamities, right? Uh, <clears throat> uh, all calamities uh, be away from you vivajantu uh, even though here um, you say be away uh, from you that is understood uh, because we have been all the while using from you huh? so may all calamities be away huh? uh, may be away is from the vivajantu so it's the person pruler uh, so here is a nominated plural, all calamities. And same thing also, so called rogo, vinasatu. Okay, vinasatu, here be destroyed. Okay, soko and rogo be destroyed. Uh, so may sorrow and disease be destroyed. Okay, soko, sorrow, rogo mean disease be destroyed. Mate bhavantu antaraya. <laughs> so yeah, I mean this is to split the Sunday already, yeah. Huh? To split the Sunday. Mate bhavan to antaraya. Oh ma mate bhavad van bhavad van taraya. You put a Y here because there is this Sunday applied. Yeah? So you had to remove the Sunday. So yeah, it's from the Bhavan to. Okay, uh, here nominated problem. So it means that the danger, huh? <clears throat> yeah, this is the native to you, huh? to you. Uh, ma mean is a strong negation. Huh? Uh, never, ever. Huh? So how do I say? May you eh, never face any danger. Huh? Or may you never huh, face any danger. I mean, this is a matter of translation. I'm the right. So, Desuki di Goyoku Bahave. Uh, so bhava is an imperative second. May you have happiness. Huh? Happiness. Uh, adjective. This adjective <clears throat> from the sukin. Huh? So suki. So diga yoku bhava. Diga long long life. Diga ayu. Huh? Diga ayu. Uh, so you had to split the the sandhi, huh? I didn't split it. Huh? Diga ayu. So may you have happiness and long life. Very good, huh? This is very strong blessing. Sabbati yo viva jantu sabarogo vinasatu mate bhava dhandara yusuki diga yoko bhava. Wow. So strong, huh? The message here. Okay. So we almost finished. Anyway, I go... Is it okay if I finish today? Yeah, all this. Yeah, this is also same thing. Abhivadana silesa nichang buddha pachayino chataro dhamma vadanti ayu vanno sukang balang. Okay, so this is very common. Huh? So one, uh, if you are a, a regular Buddhist who come to the temple for blessing, you will sure huh? know this. <laughs> Okay, uh, so yeah, you can look at the, the, the more details of it. Yeah, we look at the, the, the syntax now. Now, Abhivadana Silis. Yeah, so this is a genitive. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Abhivadana. Yeah? It means uh, having uh, what they call Silis. I mean, having the nature of Abhivadana. I mean, the devotion, right? So we are talking about for one. Uh, who is having the nature of devotion. Yeah. So, Nichang Buddha Pacha, you know. <clears throat> so, okay, those who are always respecting the elders, uh, Buddha, always Nichang, uh, respecting the elders, Apache. Uh, for one who is having the nature of devotion, he is Abhivadana Silisa. Okay. Though it is used as a genitive, but you can translate for one. Uh, you are referring to that person. Who is having that nature of devotion? And apacha you know, nominative ruler is from apachayi. So you see another form here. And nichang here is adverb here, mean always. Huh? So those 
Yeah, those. You are, because it is adjective. You are describing those people who are always respecting the elders. Uh, Buddha. Nichami always respecting elders. Apachayino huh, is respecting the Buddha. Okay. Yeah, the Buddha said, you know, if we always respecting the elders, we will get these four dhammas. But dhanti, what dhanti mean, <clears throat> you know, yeah, grow, strengthen. Huh? Strengthen. Four dhammas strengthen. Okay. Or four dhammas grow. Yeah, so chataru dhamma, right? Nominated plural, nominated plural, so adjective dhammas. So four dhamma grow or four dhamma strengthen. Okay. What are the what are these four? Ayu vanno sukambala. Ayu. Vanno. Sukam. Balam. So beautiful. But people like to, to hear that. Uh, you pray someone having long life. Uh, may you look beautiful. You know, may you be happy. May you have a lot of strength. You see, people like to listen to that. But indeed, you possess these four qualities. If you have that nature of devotion and respecting the elders. So these four dharmas will follow you. Huh? Isn't it good? Isn't it? So you, <clears throat> yeah. So these are the qualities. Huh? Oh, finish. <laughs> Okay, very good. So we finished Atanatiya Sutta. So this sutta is very important, particularly for you know certain occasion, you know, particularly for those who were you know kind of haunted, <laughs> uh, haunted like you know uh, these beings are being uh, uh, You know, so we have to chant the sutta. Sunday suttas invite inviting the devas, right? You know to come and. You know, to give an instruction, you know, to ask, you know, these beings to go away. Okay. So this is kind of like, it's kind of exorcism. Exorcism. <laughs> so this is a very powerful. Of course, according to commentary, they said that don't use this sutta first. Huh? You, you can try to use like uh, Karne Metta suttas or Kandala suttas or Ratana suttas. You see? Uh, use this sutta first. Huh? Or use this, what you call the, uh, uh, yeah, these are, these are the three main important sutta. If this sutta doesn't work, uh, if you chant this sutta for one week, it doesn't work, doesn't help, then you try this atanatiya. It, it will, be, it definitely works for that reason. Okay, definitely works. But of course, um, these are the, you know, the commentaries by some of the commentators in the suttas. Lah, huh? And of course, they say that if you want the Chinese suttas, you have to be vegetarian, you see? Um, you know, and you have to chant in the room where all the windows and doors are closed. <laughs> uh, so that, you know, this, uh, you know, this don't being said, we don't run away, something like that. <laughs> so anyway, I think uh, uh, we need not to worry so much. You see, these are the, you know, the views of certain uh, people. You know, but I think as a Buddhist, uh, for layman as well, you can chant uh, if you want at home at any time. Okay. And yeah, because as you read these suttas, you see, they are very beautiful because they are all kind of blessings, you know, all kind of blessing and you know, a blessed, you know, blessed, you know, blessing us. Okay.